welcome everybody from Crystal's Epicure cooking class. I am going to tag Crystal once it gives me the opportunity. Here we go. We'll tag Crystal. And I know that it often takes just a minute for Facebook to notify you guys that, are, that I am live. So I'm gonna take the opportunity to tell you guys a little funny story. Um, my name is Christy. I am a leader here with Epicure in Southeastern Wisconsin. Hello, whoever just popped on. Be sure to say hi so that I know who you are. I'm guessing that it's Crystal. Yes, it is, hello. So um, I'm a leader here in Southeastern Wisconsin. I live with my husband, Dave, and our two girls, Morgan and Emily. And funny story. So I pre-plan what I'm going to be making for these classes just so I can make sure that I have all my ingredients on hand. Hey, Amy. Um, I bet you were wishing that the girls were here, and while I say that, I realize that I do not have all my ingredients out right now. Um, so, I had everything pre-planned, and then I realized 20 minutes ago that I was going to make the exact same meal that I made like two weeks ago, um, the class where um, Crystal booked office. So I was like, yeah. They'll probably think that that's the only thing that I know how to cook. So, um, oh, thank you. Um, so I, you know, looked in my freezer and did a little bit of thinking, you know, in 12 seconds and decided to, that I was going to do a one pot meal tonight. So tonight, this is our new menu. We were going to have Greek, but if you want to see that demonstration, go ahead, go back to Kate's class and you can watch it. Um, we are going to do a one pot meal. Hi, Tanya, with um, chicken and veggies all in my steamer. We're gonna put some Greek seasoning on it. We're going to make some lemon dilly dip and some chocolate pudding. And I'm gonna slice up some cucumbers for you. Um, so let's get started. Ooh, that's a really big knife. Okay, so I'm gonna get started first with my steamer because since this is a one pot meal, it's going to take just a couple minutes more than if I just had meat in here or if I just had vegetables in here. So um, don't worry, I will talk a little bit more about like the, um, the meat and potatoes, but first let's actually get the meat and potatoes in the microwave. So this is our multi-purpose steamer. It is square, it comes with a crisping tray. I'm not going to be using the tray tonight. What I'm going to do is put a pound of chicken in my steamer. It is raw chicken tenderloin, nothing special about it. It's just the um, stuff from um, Costco. And now I'm going to season it. So let us know, is this your first cooking class that you're watching live? Okay, so I'm gonna be using our souvlaki dip mix. I know you can't see that with my light, but I promise it's souvlaki. I'm gonna go ahead and just sprinkle a little bit on here. And don't worry, if you're listening to this and you're thinking what, on earth is souvlaki. I was you just a couple months ago, um, before Epicure, I didn't know how to cook anything besides Mexican and Italian and then leftovers and eggs. I was good at eggs too. So this has given us a really great opportunity to try lots of different new flavors because all of Epicure's recipes are really simple to prepare. They only have a couple um, normal ingredients that you will usually find in your pantry, hence the quick menu change. And um, can you turn the camera to your right a little? Oh, sure. Let's see here. I'll actually, let's see. So I'll actually, is this better? There we go. I think I'm in the middle then. Um, I just started this setup where you could see the back of my kitchen, so this is a little bit new to me, so I am I appreciate you um, saying that so that we can see everything. So um, all like normal pantry ingredients, and um, so yeah, so we've got our chicken in here. I measured out a pound of frozen vegetables. This is broccoli and cauliflower, and I'm just gonna put this all in my steamer. I just have the cauliflower and broccoli right on top of the chicken, so I'm not gonna mix it just yet. And then I'm going to put my cover on. And since this is going to be in the microwave for quite a few minutes, I'm gonna put this on a dinner plate for stability um, because the steamer is um, it's a little bit more wiggly um, when, it's, when it's full. And then also just because then I won't have to touch a hot steamer. So there we go, we've got a dinner plate. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my microwave for eight minutes. All right, so while that is cooking, 
why don't I introduce you a little bit better to me and Epicure. So what we are doing tonight is a cooking class. And what is a virtual class without prizes? I promise that I'm gonna be giving away lots of fun things. So what can you do to get those prizes? First of all, participate. Go back to our post, there's only a couple. Introduce yourself, play our games if you feel led. Um, comment on this video, let us know that you're watching or that you watched the replay. That is how you will get entries into our participation drawing. You get extra entries, bonus entries, for placing an order. You get even more entries if you place your order within the next 48 hours. I usually do 24, but I'll do 48 this week. So that's the end of the day on Thursday. You get even more bonus entries if you decide to book a fun cooking class like this off of Crystal. So these are super quick and easy, and I mean, who doesn't need quick and easy meals? Who wouldn't just feel good about sharing this with their friends and their family because Think about what life would look like for you if you had an extra 30 minutes every single night. And I'm gonna teach you how you can do that with our, um, with our cookware and also with our spices. And then finally, you'll get bonus entries for joining us. Now, I joined this business in October 2019. Um, I was in a di different direct sales business before that. I wasn't doing parties anymore because they weren't really my thing. And um, so I didn't expect to build a business with Epicure. I pretty much joined for the discount and because I knew that this business, which is has been in Canada for the last 24 years, we just launched here in the United States in August of 2019, I knew that this was going to grow really quickly because of our core values, what we were founded on, um, our clean ingredients, our quick meals, that this is what people are looking for right now, even before we were eating at home so much, um, and I just wanted to make sure that I could have a nice discount and that I would have this available just in case because I had recently quit my job. It was never in the cards for me to be a stay-at-home mom, but um, I was carting my kids to do two different, three different daycares sometimes. It was really stressful, it was really time consuming, and one night I just sat down and we actually did the math and I was only making $200 a month after all of that work and um, I decided to quit my job. So. Um, it was a little bit scary for me because I like to know exactly what to expect and I didn't know what life was going to look like without my income. So I figured that if I had my Epicure business, everybody eats and on the months that I was feeling a little bit more worried about our finances, I could do a cooking class or two or ask friends and families if they needed some food and then we would be okay. So, um, so that's basically why I joined and then when things turned virtual a couple months ago, things looked very different for my business in a good way. So um, there's incredible opportunity here. If you're even looking for just a nice discount for your family, a little bit of extra spending money, or to have a um, career business like what I'm doing. So now, what is Epicure? We have actually been in um, Canada for over 24 years. We are a household name there. But like I mentioned, we are pretty brand new here in the United States. So what we are um, known for are our clean ingredients. We have something called a never ever list. This is a list of dozens of ingredients that you will never ever find in any of our products. Some things on this list are gluten, high fructose corn syrup, artificial colors, flavors, sweeteners, um, MSG, nuts. So if you have anybody in your life with a peanut allergy or any other nut, this is a really great company for them to check out because we have um, safe everything for them and if you know anybody who's celiac if you know anybody who is diabetic or living like a low sugar low or no sodium lifestyle this is a really great option for that because those are the things that we really strive for here in Epicure what caught my eye was our ingredient policy and that's because we have some food sensitivities in our house but really the more that I got to using these products um, the more I fell in love with just how quick and easy it is to prepare all of these meals. Um, like I mentioned before this, I really only cooked like Mexican and Italian. I honestly didn't know how to cook anything else. And now we have so much more variety for our family just because everything is so simple. So what I'm gonna do next is slice up some cucumbers here. We're making a Greek dish, so it'll be nice to have some cucumbers if we decide to have it on the side with some dip, or if we decide to put these in a pita, that would be good too with some feta cheese or like a salad, whatever. So I'm going to be using our um, mandolin. And before 
before Epicure, these scared me because I actually cut myself pretty badly with these early in my marriage, not with this one specifically, but I wasn't using the guard. I mean, this is kind of a common sense thing. Use the guard and you will be golden. So you saw how easy that, um, that slice right there. And there are several different sizes for our mandolin. I used our thicker slice right now. And you can see, you can see about, that's what that is. So there's a thinner slice and there's also this julienne and then the um, thicker julienne as well. So that is our mandolin. I love it. It makes slicing things so easy. And then this is our Prep Pro Chef knife. Also something that I really love. Super sharp ceramic knife. Um, this is good for those foods that have like a, um, a slippery skin, kind of like tomatoes and peppers, um, the softer fruits and vegetables. And it always stays sharp since it's ceramic and um, it won't brown things like apples when you cut it because, because it's ceramic. I don't know, it's some sort of magical thing that ceramic does. So that is our mandolin. So now let's go on to um, talking just a little bit more about our steamer because that's what we've got coming out in about two minutes here. So um, like I mentioned, what would you do with an extra 30 minutes every night? The meals that I make for my family take me average 15, 20 minutes to make sometimes even 10, 10 minutes, and that is incredible. And um, it's because I am using our microwave steamers. Now, before Epicure, my microwave was in my coat closet. And we actually put the microwave in the coat closet in 2012 um, because somebody, somebody told me something and I believed them, so I put it away and I never used it again. And we bought a toaster oven, and that's how we made all of our food, either in our toaster oven, it's still right there, or else um, stove top. And, when I was introduced to Epicure, I love the ingredient policy, and when I saw these microwave steamers, I was like, mm, nope, let's not even go there. I don't even have a microwave. When I had a cooking class here at my house, I had the girl do a sheet pan meal. So now that I have these in front of me, I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about our sheet pans. We have two different sizes. This is our full sheet pan. It comes with, it doesn't come with. So this is our full sheet pan. We also have a silicone mat called um, a sheet pan liner that you can purchase. I love our liners. They protect your sheet pan from all of the food, all of the stickiness, all of the dirty. So a lot of times I don't even have to wash my sheet pan anymore because it doesn't even get dirty uh, for baking, for sheet pan meals, for really anything that you need, garlic bread, anything that's messy. And then this is what it looks like, the full sheet pan liner. Or else we have our quarter sheet pan size. Now our quarter sheet pans, these, this size comes in a set of two, as well as our quarter sheet pan liners. These come in a set of two. So if you are on the fence about which liner you should try, I would recommend the quarter sheet pan size because you can see the two fit perfectly on a standard sheet pan. Now, if you already have sheet pans in your life that you love, that are in good shape, you don't need to purchase our sheet pans. Just um, measure them to make sure that our liners will work with your sheet pans. So anyhow, back to this microwave steamer. Um, I ended up signing up as a consultant the day after the cooking class that I hosted here in my house. And I remember talking to my director, I was like, do I actually have to talk about microwaving food? Do I have to use that thing? Because it came in my consultant kit. And she's like, you know what, Christy, you can do whatever makes you feel comfortable. Um, no more tin foil, exactly, Crystal. That's, that's a huge thing, not having that waste and not putting that into the environment. And everything is dishwasher safe as, as well. Everything that you see that is purple and silicone is dishwasher safe. Um, and then our steamers are oven safe as well. So I asked her, do I really have to talk about this microwave steaming? And she's like, you know what? It's your business, so you can do whatever, whatever you want. But I would encourage you to do some research. So I did, and there's actually a Harvard study from 2019 that states that microwave steaming is one of the healthiest ways that you can cook your food because of the shorter cook time and the fact that you don't need to use any extra water or oil. So that intrigued me. At that point, I had two small kids. So Emily was one and Morgan was three, probably two or three, and um, they don't have a lot of patience. So spending 40 minutes to an hour making my meals in the oven, stovetop, or in the toaster oven just wasn't cutting it for them. And I was 
not cutting it for me anymore either. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna take that microwave out of my closet. Um, Harvard says it won't zap me and we will see what happens. And when I took that out of my closet, it didn't even work. I had to buy a new one, but I still wasn't really on board with this. So I bought the cheapest microwave that I could find at Walmart that was like $79 and it's still going strong after daily use every day for the last like year and a half. So that's awesome, but anyways. So here is our chicken. I know with our light, it's kind of hard. So you can kind of tell that it's a little bit raw. And um, so I'm gonna put this back in the microwave. I was expecting that. So I'm gonna put it back in the microwave for three more minutes. And um, then we will have a, a meal that's all done. So I did mix that up. I took my grip and grab tongs. I took my grip and grab tongs and I just mixed it up. I broke up the chicken. Remember I had a pound of chicken tenderloin in there and then I'm putting it back in my microwave for three minutes and then it will be done. So you might be thinking, what on earth can I make in that microwave steamer? Because um, I use my microwave steamers almost every single meal every day. We have a couple different sizes and um, this is our rectangular steamer. And then this is our round steamer. It's actually the same size and capacity as our, um, as our multi-purpose steamer, but it does not come with a crisping tray. And this one's just a little bit sturdier. So um, I know Tanya's watching, she likes this one. I use them all often, just depending on what I'm cooking. Um, but really the function of this tray, people call this the bacon tray and it really cracks me up. So yes, you can make bacon, crispy bacon, in your microwave steamer um, with this tray one minute per slice and it comes out crispy, um, honest to goodness. So before Epicure, I never really used to make bacon because I burned myself, I'm pretty accident prone in the kitchen. And now um, we make bacon on the regular just because it's so easy. And remember I said that this is dishwasher safe. So you can just take, after you're done making all of your bacon, all of the um, juices will drip to the bottom of your steamer and then you'll just pour out those that bacon grease and put it right in your dishwasher and the dishwasher does all the work for you. What else can you put in our steamers? Just about anything. So I'm doing chicken right now. A pound of chicken takes about four to six minutes. Uh, same with ground beef, four to six minutes. You can make fish. You can make your vegetables, so fresh or frozen, um, like four to six minutes depending on capacity. Potatoes, baked potatoes, um, up to eight minutes depending on how big they are. And uh, popcorn is really popular. Half a cup of popcorn, nothing else, no oil, and then pop it for about five minutes and then you've got your wonderful popcorn without all of the, um, all of the um, chemicals from your um, microwave popcorn bag. Or else you could do, what else can you do? Your grains, your rice, quinoa, noodles, oatmeal. I make oatmeal like crazy in my steamer. It's just so quick and easy. About a minute and a half will we'll do it. And it's easier than boiling water. So we do a lot of oatmeal as well. We truly do use our steamer almost every single meal every day. And I also use my steamers really often for leftovers. I was actually just explaining this to my mom yesterday. So you know, so you know when you use your microwave for leftovers, there's often hot spots or else the food gets stuck around the outside of whatever bowl that you're using. With our steamers, they are non-stick, so you don't have to worry about it sticking. And there's no hot spots because it's all evenly warmed with the cover. And like I've said a few times, you just put it in the dishwasher and it does all the work for you. So that's just a little bit about our microwave steamers. Love them, use them every day. Totally converted me, a former weirdo. If, if you're, I, I don't mean that you're a weirdo if you're, your microwave's in the closet, but I was pretty hardcore weirdo about no microwaves for a good like eight years, I would say. So next I'm going to make my lemon dilly dip. And this is a favorite in our house. Now we have a couple food sensitivities which makes it really difficult for us to find any sort of dips that we can buy from the grocery store. So I love Epicure because we can have the base of our dip be whatever we want. So I am using some almond yogurt and this one's almost gone. And this is when I actually kind of just measure this by color. I think you can still see me. Got a little battery there. Okay, and all you do is add your lemon dilly dip mix Stir it up, and then that's it. 
This is a favorite for my kids. They will gobble up whatever raw veggies I put in front of them. When I give them this lemon dilly dip, I we really love this just on chicken as well. It's so flavorful. And there you have it. This is your lemon dilly dip. Super quick and easy, two ingredients. All right, so let's see our meal in the microwave. It should be completely done. I have made this, I made this just a couple days ago. So um, you could use a meat temperature or meat thermometer to make sure that your chicken is done, but just cutting into one of these slices, one of these pieces, it is so juicy and tender and completely done. So this is one pound of frozen large um, veggies and one pound of chicken tenderloin, completely done one pot meal in 11 minutes. That is incredible. And the yummy seasoning as well. That's that souvlaki, that Greek seasoning. All right, so let's move on to dessert. Um, <laughs> dessert is something that you don't have to feel guilty about with Epicure because we use um, cane sugar or coconut sugar for all of our desserts. I'm gonna be making some chocolate pudding and I love our chocolate pudding ooh, because it is um, vegan, it's dairy free. So you can use whatever milk your family has in your refrigerator and it will set up with it. So if you use a dairy milk in your house, totally cool, go ahead and use that. It'll set up with that. Almond milk is what I'm using, coconut milk, rice milk, ripple, it'll work with anything. All that you do is add your two cups of milk, whisk it up for a minute or two, put it in your refrigerator, and then you have pudding. We'll set up in about 15 minutes. So um, I'm not really a chocolate person, but our chocolate pudding is one of my favorite desserts ever. About half a cup of this is 100 calories, and I love to eat it plain or else if I'm feeling a little bit fancy, I will top it with one of our toppers like our summer berry dip mix or our um, cocoa crunch. Is it weird that the meat isn't browned? No, I wouldn't say. Um, so it makes very tender, juicy chicken. If you wanted more of the like stir fry, a little bit crunchier chicken, then that would not be what you would be achieving in your steamer. Um, for me, I always struggle to figure out when my meat was done cooking. Um, I'm not like a super great cook and um, chicken was my least favorite thing to cook because I always was afraid that it was raw. But I got to know my microwave and I just know that a pound of chicken is going to be done in six minutes. And I just know that this meal is gonna be done in 11 minutes. And that just makes me feel good because um, I know I'm not serving my family raw chicken. I also, um, just from a convenience standpoint, I can do five pounds of ground hamburger. I can brown it all at one time in either one of my bigger steamers. All I have to do is stop it maybe three times to break it up along the way. No babysitting and um, it's completely browned. You know, it's completely cooked. And then when it comes to draining the juices, it's so quick and easy with the steamer as well because you just pinch the corners together. You would just pinch the corners together and then pour it out. And it's just a whole lot easier than any sort of browning anything stove top in my opinion and then I can put all of this in the dishwasher as well. So this is my pudding and I'm going to go ahead and put this back in my microwave, not my microwave, my uh, refrigerator and then that will be ready by the time my husband's down here done with the kids. So all right so we are going to wrap things up right now. So right now um, talk about our steamers, I talked about our sheet pans and that's about all I have for you. So it's time to shop. There is a link that just posted on, in Crystal's group. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna click it and then you're going to look at your top left-hand corner and click shop and then go for collections. You're gonna choose either food or cookware and then choose collections. Collections are truly our best way to do shopping with Abby here if you're a newbie because it gives you a really great value and you get to try a great variety. We have something called our 30 days of what's for dinner collection and I swear this month they chose every single one of my favorite 
every single one of my favorites and put it in this collection. This is very family friendly and this will give you a meal plan grocery list and all of the spices that you need for 30 days of dinners. How incredible is that? You don't have to think about it. Um, it comes with four full size spices, numerous of our meal solutions, and then that's what you have for your collection or 30 days of what's for dinner. We also have a winter warm up that is a collection of all of our seasonal products. Again, you get your digital meal plan. It's just a really great way to do your shopping to do collections. Um, I didn't even talk about our meal solutions. So these are our easy meals because I talked about them earlier in our, in our video from this morning when I did when I had my jammies on basically. So these are our quick and easy meals. They're basically like your hamburger helper for the health conscious person. Um, clean ingredients, nothing weird in here. And all you do is add your fresh ingredients. So I love that you can customize this. Like this sweet garlic chicken, you can absolutely put this on fish or pork chops. Um, macaroni and cheese, you can make tuna casserole. You can make uh, Mexi Mac or Chili Mac. Ooh, honey garlic meatballs was the first one. This is a sweet garlic chicken. Um, honey garlic meatballs is actually our um, exclusive this month. So if this is something that intrigues you, honey garlic meatballs, you should think about ordering sooner than later because it could sell out in 10 minutes, it could sell out in 10 days, I have no idea, but this is an exclusive just for the month of April. So those are our meal solutions, super quick and easy. We have dozens of these um, restaurant quality flavors. So that is how you shop. Maybe you're sitting here thinking, you know, I have a friend, I have a family member who could really use these easy meals. They are so stressed out about their meal time. They are just found out that they're diabetic or celiac and they're really struggling with how they can eat. And I think that Epicure could really help. Or maybe you're thinking, hey, this is a little bit of fun. I didn't even have to leave my house and I'm doing this, I'm watching this cooking show, even though I'm not that great, but I'm watching this cooking show and um, I get to do some grocery shopping from my couch. Or maybe you're thinking that you fell in love and this is something that you're really going to use really often. I would encourage you to be our next virtual host. Crystal will probably tell you that this wasn't very hard. All that she needed to do was invite her friends and get you guys excited about learning about Epicure. I do everything else. I do the group, I do the demo, and um, oh, thanks Crystal. And then that's what it looks like to have a cooking class. So if you think that there is somebody in your life that would find Epicure to be um, of value or that this could be so helpful or if you're in love, definitely think about being our next host. And we actually have a $20 voucher, $20 bonus for you for booking off of Crystal. Crystal gets a thank you gift as well. And then we have some really great host exclusives. We have a salad set for this month. And then next month we have our skewers Last year we had skewers and I was so upset that I didn't claim these. I am claiming these on May 4th so that I can make sure to get my set. I'm so excited about these. And those are our host exclusives. And then maybe you're thinking, oh my goodness, I think that this is something that my family would really eat often, that we would love. It would simplify my life. It would take a lot of stress out of my life to just have easy meals around. Or maybe you're thinking, Maybe I could do this as a business. Maybe I could have a little bit of extra cash for my shoe habit or what have you. Or maybe you're thinking that you wanna make an income that could maybe make a difference to your family. No matter where you fall on that spectrum, a discount customer, a um, part-timer, or a career consultant, I can teach you how to do that. And our business kit is $99. It comes with over $250 worth of food, cookware, and supplies that will help you get started right. Now our steamer is in our um, business kit along with our cutting mats and some really fabulous food and other cookware. So it's definitely an awesome value if this is something that you think would, um, would work for you and your family. So if you are even a little bit curious about that, make sure to send me a quick message so that I can give you some information because I don't want you to miss out on this. So thank you so much, Crystal, for hosting. And um, I will post pictures about uh, to show you what this looks like. And have a good night, you guys. Bye-bye.